Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we're coming to you from the Grand Hotel. It is the Mackinac Policy Conference put on by the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce. And hey, we've got a guy who finally didn't have to drive that far to a conference, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay, Warren Call is with us, and he's a head of uh, Traverse Connect. So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Well, as you know, Chris, uh, this is kind of the official kickoff of the busy season in northern Michigan. It is great to have all these state policymakers and, local, and leaders from across the state here in, here in our backyard. It's a, it's a great kickoff to remind people why, uh, why Michigan's so special and, and the wonderful things in northern Michigan. You know, it's amazing because we, we've been talking about keeping our young people here and how we import uh, people. We don't talk enough about the value of life here in Michigan and all the things to do. There aren't many states that have more diversity than us. There isn't, and you know, that diversity is what makes us strong. Uh, the portfolio of different experiences, different places to live, different places to, to visit in this state is, is amazing. A lot of the world doesn't know about that, and it's one of the things that we can really leverage from a quality of place standpoint to really get Michigan moving, growing again, especially population-wise, that's really important. That's a lot of the conversation that we're having here this week is, is you know, what can we do to get Michigan moving and, and growing again? You know, keeping our grads here in the state, of course, you know, continuing to develop those, those workforce support mechanisms, housing, childcare, transportation, but also what can we do to further increase immigration? Seasonal work immigration, permanent year-round immigration. We need visas of all types to, to really kickstart our economy. You know, well, you know this. I've been pounding on immigration reform for years, and we have to have that. And people forget that, like in your area, this is a huge issue. It is a huge issue. And you know, you're, you're in the Grand Hotel. They, they have struggled with it. Resorts and hospitality organizations across the, across the North especially have relied on seasonal work visas. And over the last several years, the, there just has not been, as, as the, at the federal level, it's been cramped down. That really hurts our businesses. So we need immigration reform. We need re, uh, immigration that you know, allows businesses to thrive, allows Northern Michigan to continue doing what it, what it does best, which is host the rest of the world. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. We need one huge voice in D.C. to get that done because it's, it's, it's just there's no political appetite for it and it needs to be done. Something it, it really does need to be done. And I am encouraged there's, there's an operation at the federal, state, and local level uh, headed by the U.S. Chamber, the Liberty Program, about fostering the, this development of what needs to be changed with immigration. Mm -hmm. So we're working on it at the Northern Michigan Chamber Alliance. We're working with the Michigan Chamber, the U.S. Chamber. Businesses across, across the spectrum of all sizes can benefit from a, a, a relook at our immigration policies. Well, they absolutely do. And, and you know, permanent. We, we need people to move here with skills that, that can keep us moving. All right, so you're on the cusp of, like you said, the, the new season. Uh, this is big. How does it look? What's your projections for Traverse? Yeah, it looks great. I think that um, from a standpoint of, of uh, economic uh, continuation, I think we're going to have another strong uh, summer season. It looks good. Of course, there still continues to be those staffing issues. Not quite as acute as they have been the last couple of years, but still still certainly the biggest challenge. Um, but uh, with, the, with the, the concerns about the economic you know, situation not usually impacting us all that much, we still, we still see a very strong summer season here in Traverse City and Michigan. Well, and, and you're in Traverse City, that helps a lot. I mean, so um, we found that one of the major concerns now, along with people, just about a dead heat, is inflation as a problem for small business and specifically wage inflation. Because there aren't enough people, everybody's fighting over them. You have to give them raises, etc. The problem is that inflation doesn't go away because you don't take raises back. Yeah, I think it's really, it's something that all businesses struggle with, especially lately, you know, that, that wage inflation becomes the, the biggest driver of your cost increases. And to some degree, it's hard to pass on those costs to customers. So, of course, again, the way to address it is we need more people in the talent pool. We need more young people. We need more people staying in Michigan. We need more people moving to Michigan of all types. And that's, that's the competition of the future. Who can, who can attract bright talent and, and the workforce of the future? And we need to do a better job at doing that here in Michigan. All right, so now the, the, the real question that everybody wants me to ask, how's the winery industry? 
the wine, winery industry continues to go gangbusters, you know, continues to grow. We've had a lot of success getting, uh, getting Northern Michigan wines a little bit more notice yes. across the country, which has been fantastic. And, you know, one of the, the, the aspects of growing Michigan grapes is that uh, the weather actually has been pretty productive and, and supportive of it, and we're doing well. Yeah, well, it, it's good to see. As a matter of fact, I just had another personal friend that bought a little winery up in your neck of the woods, and they're they're having a lot of fun with it. They are. You know, we. I just talked with someone who recently bought a, a vineyard. They are looking at expansion plans. They're looking at what they can learn from other parts of the, the country. Uh, we've got uh, one of our local business owners is looking at doing a, a vineyard um, incubator. So how do they? How can they help other vineyards get started? Yeah, it's a mix of interest. Grow the whole industry. Okay, very quickly, we've got about 30 seconds. For a while, grapes were turning to hops. Is that still happening? I think that's slowed down a little bit. I think hops, there's still some significant hops growing in, in, in northern Michigan, but it really has reverted back to more, to more grapes uh, is still being the dominant, I think, growth opportunity. Well, I'm all for that. That's all right. All right, Warren Call, head of uh, Traverse Connect, thanks for the good, good work you do up there in a great area, and thanks for spending time with us. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate the opportunity. All right, bud. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman coming to you from the Mackinac Policy Conference on Mackinac Island put on by the Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce.